some practical questions for you. We laid a good basis for you just now. You, you did. did. <laughs> so the money um, brings up my question of I have manifested a good sum of money just recently that I am thrilled about and at the same time noticed that I started thinking, oh, I have bills to pay. What should I do with the money? And I want to continue the flow. I want to, I believe that I am unlimited and yet notice the old thoughts coming up. Well, that pile of money that you have is just symptomatic of more piles that are coming. <laughs> That's what I believe. And as you spend it in ease, you let the next piles roll in. As you spend it in angst, you slow the next piles up. So, so that I understand what you're saying, I have gone out and spent some and had a ton of fun. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was just fun. And I noticed that I got to a certain point and I started saying, oh, I better stop. Well, the question we want to put to you is, do you feel free about money or guarded about that money? Did the receiving of that open the floodgates for so much more to come? Or do you now feel guarded about this pile that you are worried about diminishing? Both. I can vacillate between feeling, wow. But you can't do them both in the same moment. No. So, so since you're very clever, we'll ask you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're more upstream or downstream about this? Are you more guarded or more free? Guarded. Well, I, I kind of want to say I'm, I'm going more and more downstream with the flow. So I'm less guarded than I less, usually am, but I'm still more guarded than I am. Still flowing. kind of tight fisted. Like, I don't know if I can trust that there's, and yet the bigger part of me knows that there's more. Well, so here's the interesting thing about this. When money comes to you, you say, I manifested a large amount of money. And when you say, I manifested a large amount of money in a way that's not likely to ever happen to me again. <laughs> Then you feel tight fisted because it's right. like this anomaly happened. And this is why, this is why we put it to you in the way we did that this is just a pile of money that came in the way that it did, but there are more piles of money that are going to come in other ways. And your logic is saying to you, but this pile of money came in a unique way right. and I don't have any more of those kind of unique ways of piles <laughs> of money coming. That's exactly what my logic is saying. So, but uh, I want it, but that's, ex it came exactly the way I wanted it to in this illogical sort of here we go so Wait. so if that can happen then other way and so what you want to focus upon is if this can happen then other things can happen and the end result is the same I have a pile of money and another one 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 until once you get that pump primed then you can go to the well anytime you want and the money will be there so much so that you'll stop even thinking about it you'll just accept the well as always full and and you won't be worrying about how it got in there you'll just be enjoying taking it out good so should i order my porsche now <laughs> if it will generate within you a feeling of outrageous abundance. But if it gives you a shortage feeling, don't do it. In other words, vibe it out. Ask yourself, how will I pretend that you've done it? Put it in the garage, drive it home in your mind, uh, see it sitting there, take it to the car wash, drive it around in your mind. In other words, live with it. Put it there. I'm there. <laughs> put, put it, put it, put it there. Feel it, enjoy it, smell it, drive it, feel it. And if it's a downstream feeling, go get it tomorrow. And if it makes you uncomfortable, <laughs> <laughs> and if it makes you uncomfortable, then wait till you're comfortable and then go get it. 
In other words, the, the rule of thumb is line up the energy and then take the action, but never take the action before you've lined up the energy. So now, did, this is really important because you see, you, you can get yourself flowing downstream, downstream, downstream. The, the money is what it is yeah. and, and, and you can look at it in a guarded way or in a free flowing way. And as you guide yourself to more free flowing way so that you're feeling wonderful about it. And then from that place of alignment, you then take the action of purchasing the Porsche, then the purchasing of the purchasing of this car and the diminishing of that temporary amount of money will not affect the flow at all. But if you feel angst about it and you try to buy a car in order to soothe the angst so that the action comes before the alignment, now the action hinders the next money that's coming in. That was really good. Did you write all of that down? So I don't, I don't think I don't think that it is to, to alleviate the angst that I want the Porsche. The thought that comes up for me though is then I don't want to go back over my decision and, and bring up things from the past, how for whatever vibrational place I was in from the past, this result came. All right, well, this is the way you want to resolve that. What you want to say is I have purchased other Porsche-like things before and have put myself in a financial jam but that was when I took the action before I right. lined up the energy and this is different okay in other words I lined up the energy that's why this money's here exactly. and I can keep lining up the energy and more money will come so I figured out how to have an endless stream of money but it is a value to put yourself in other words you don't want to get in a position because you've learned all of your money management things before you learned your energy yes. management things yes. and so you have habits of approaching money and your logic says if you want to stay in a good place don't, don't spend do more don't exactly. spend more than you've got coming in and and from upbringing you've been told when you've got it you should save, save it for it. a rainy day you should and and we say it's not ever gonna be a rainy day like that and logical people say uh-huh it rained on this day and it rained on this day and remember back when when you foolishly spent that money and then you had regret about it it's why they have the term buyers remorse <laughs> And we say buyer's remorse is only about not lining up energy and then shutting down the flow. And you're way past that. Way, way, way past that. Okay. Good. So, <laughs> on to the next question. Um, so Won't she look good in a Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you feel how a Porsche has been her in her vibrational yes. escrow for a really, really, really long time? It has. And, and can't you feel how it utterly feels like the next logical step for her? Doesn't it seem utterly logical? Don't, can't you feel her readiness for it? In other words, is, is there is, is anybody shivering with goosebumps in anticipation? Uh, are you? Yeah. And, in other words, can't you feel the alignment of that? Yeah. Can't you feel the ease of it? Can you? Can you feel the ease of her Porsche? <laughs> I want to ask, you know, do you have bills to pay? Do you want to take care of something? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's the logical part of my brain that would come up and say that and say, it's kind of stupid to go out and get a Porsche when you've got this and this and this. And my financial planner is saying, well, you better, you're not going to get your Porsche for another two years. And I'm going, crap. <laughs> upstream right so then I go I don't want to believe him I I I believe that things will fall into place I believe that whatever I want will show up that it'll show up so, in exactly the way so that... you make a good point voice of doom from the right <laughs> I want to give him a raspberry <laughs> But, but he does speak, he does make he does. a very good point. He does. So, so what that point of view is, so I've got this pile of money and I've got this pile of bills. Yeah. And should I spend this pile of money on this pile of bills? That just feels or like... Or am I dealing with the pile of bills in the way that I always said I would? Mm -hmm. And so am I already in balance relative to the bills in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out? In other words... Are you? As much as I can be, I think. 
in other words are are is there discomfort uh, is your relationship with the bills is there more going out because of existing bills than is coming in yes and uh, yeah in if I'm not touching the money there's certain income coming from that but it's not covering everything so I have to take more and what about other sources of income in other words what's your financial balance or or how do you feel about your financial balance because he's right and we are in agreement in other words if you've got a pile of money and that pile of money is supporting you mm -hmm. and now you're thinking about doing something more fun with the pile of money than supporting you now you're out of balance but it didn't feel that way in your vibration is it it doesn't what feel were, that way be, when I think well, about what it. were you doing before the pile of money got there I was making peace with where I was and we were getting by we were paying the, the bills and and doing what we do every day and which, under and under those conditions what happened it came you got a pile of money yeah so, I was quite happy so you must not have a problem yeah in other words there must be and so we agree with with our friend from the over voice there. of doom <laughs> <laughs> the voice of reason and logic in other words we are not in disagreement but this is something that you must ask yourself individually and that's why we say is it a, is the idea of the Porsche a downstream thought or an upstream thought so here's the way you work it out so you say Oh, the idea of the Porsche downstream in other words when I see myself in it downstream 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 the idea of spending money on the Porsche that I should be spending on something else upstream, upstream. thought yeah and now logic says well then if you feel that way don't do it and right. we say no that's not what the energy stream is about logic says get in alignment with the stream in other words go with the flow and and we understand what the thinking is the thinking might be oh well if I just pretend that every things all right when it's not all right then I'm not going to get myself in a jam and we say if you take action before you've lined up energy that's where the jam comes from but if you've lined up the energy and then you take action you cannot get in a jam so you might say well maybe I'll sit in this for a while maybe I'll dream the Porsche and see how it feels and each time I have that upstream thought I'll see if I can let go of the oars until I'm absolutely confident in other words we would far rather have you say oh I know I have everything covered and I know that I can do this we'd rather feel that confidence from you and this is what our friend was feeling he was feeling that there's some sort of angst in your vibration so your energy isn't quite lined up about it because there are some other factors that are keeping you from being in total alignment with this action and so we would just spend a day or two or three maybe a week getting yourself in alignment before you take the action and know that you can do it and from our perspective we have no question at all about whether you can bring yourself into alignment with that addition to your experience okay thank you the thing that is interesting as we watch so many of you and we put it to you a little bit we've talked about it a few times here today when you when you are in touch with the way you feel and you are using your ability to imagine an action before you take the action there's a tendency to think well the first time I thought it I got such and such a feeling and therefore that's a sign that I should or shouldn't do it you with us where what it really is is a sign of how my energy is lined up and that's all it's a sign of it's not a sign of whether I should or shouldn't do it it's a sign of whether I should or shouldn't do it yet and, other, and that's what we meant when we said line up the energy and then do it don't do it before you've lined up the energy so if you when we said to you if as you think about doing that and you have an upstream thought your face fell and and your energy diminished like oh then I shouldn't do it and we say we're not saying don't do it we're just saying line up the energy spend some time getting turned in the direction of it and then do it and then there will be no regret there will be no backlash to it good thank you